Inside a hollow tree, with an opening of just a centimeters wide, lives a half meter long female hornbill in confinement. While the male hornbill, like a doting parent, keeps a steady influx of food for his mate, once the male flies away, the female continues to pack the opening with a mix of mud and droppings, narrowing the entrance even more. But even in such a hidden sanctuary, invaders relentlessly attempt to break in. In such times, if the hornbill can't escape in time, it'll be trapped and meet a harrowing demise inside the tree. Three weeks later, our harrow and hornbill has successfully hatched three chicks. Due to each egg hatching at different times, the destiny of each chick greatly varies, with starkly differing outcomes. Now with three more mouths to feed, the male's daily routine is turned into total chaos. To make matters worse, the long-awaited rainy season shows no sign of starting, making the already scarce food sources even more elusive. A month in, the female hornbill can no longer contain herself. She must burst forth and share the food-fetching burden. Hornbills are extremely protective. As soon as the female leaves, the eldest chick begins to fortify the entrance with whatever material is left. But with the mother gone, the older offspring starts a food monopoly. Within a week, the runt of the litter starves to death, leaving only its skeleton. But this is just the start of a cascading disaster. In nature's harsh world, the strong get stronger, the weak, well, it may seem unfair, but an early departure from the nest signifies a successful escape from danger under rival siblings' control. The second chick gets only a minimal amount of food, barely able to eat its fill, only after its siblings' satisfaction. Cicadas and hornbills seem worlds apart, yet it's the cicadas that Harold the birds do. Every time cicadas sap the tree, they leave behind a scar, oozing sugary sap that beckons an array of bugs to the feast, thus attracting other insects. And right at this moment, the biggest chick senses danger. It starts breaking open the entrance and flees the scene past chased. Fledgling number one, gone with the wind. But our second little birdie is considerably less developed. Taking flight prematurely could mean a dive into disaster. Yet, luck is on its side, as its hornbill parents refuse to give up on any offspring. For bees, a tree hole is prime real estate, but it spells dire straits for our feathered fellows. They must deter scouting bees at all costs. Failing to chase even one away, could Harold a swarm. The chick remains vigilant, inspecting every corner and leaving. No stone unturned, no bee ensued. Yet as the bees persist, the chick is overwhelmed. Meanwhile, the hornbill parents haven't strayed far, still tirelessly seeking sustenance for their young. But now, they can't get anywhere near their nest. Their mouthful of food turns out to be for naught, as the bees have completely overrun the tree hollow. However, this time, they could no longer approach their nest and the food in their beaks became needless burdens. The bee colony's moving crew had completely overrun the tree hollow. The chick was utterly engulfed. Perhaps for the first time, the hornbill couple felt utterly helpless. But as the chill of autumn wind blew, their parenting duty had come to an inevitable close. Yet the struggle for survival never truly ends. The cozy nest snatched by the bees could one day become their own undoing. Harvesting honeycomb is an age-old tradition of the Maasai in Africa. They even have a bird species, the honey guy, that specializes in leading humans to be honey to the Maasai. The stings are just minor annoyances. They employ a simple tactic to make the bees surrender. After millions of years of evolution, bees naturally associate smoke with wildfires, prompting them to abandon their nests and mass. The bees scatter in the smoke, leaving their nests behind. With the help of smoky persuasion, the once formidable bees 
are genelled into compliance, affording the Masse a sweet victory feast. Life's food web is a gripping saga of survival, with every link crucial to the next. Witness the sacred transfer of life's energy in each rotation of birth and nurturing. <laughs>